and welcome back to the channel guys all right today is monday which means it is motorcycle monday all right guys it's been a while since i've done one of these videos because um truth be told um i changed my phone and yes i you know got the app and everything set up but i was a little hesitant um i had some things going on in the background as well so anyway without further ado Let's jump right in to see what um, what uh, waits us. And once again, we are on Offer Up, Fort, La Fort Lauderdale area, and we're looking for motorcycles between two hundred and a thousand dollars. All right, this jumps out at me right away. This is a Kawasaki Ninja two fifty. Okay, this is an older one, two thousand seven. Says clean title in hand. That's always a plus, guys. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. I like that price. Now, these motorcycles are uh, pretty good for uh, first-timers, learners. Okay, so let's have a look at the big picture. All right. Now, we've got some graphics going on right there. All right. Um, I can work with that. Red, it's a good color. Um, I've had red motorcycles, and um, yeah, I like this. I like this motorcycle a lot. What? What's... Man, this, this looks good. Normally, when you see uh, 250Rs, Ninja 250Rs, a little beat up because you know they're first first you know motorcycles for a lot of people um but they're very reliable very forgiving i mean this oh this guy here seems to have his 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 stuff together man this 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 looks good similar wow this looks awesome not a scratch what if what if this price is right let me see what's going on here oh now listen to this guys <laughs> this is exactly the kind of motorcycle you want is it Mechanic special, it was sitting two years, needs clean carburetor and batteries to fix, use for parts or trap bike. Engine perfect, clean title in hand. Guys, this is exactly what you want. This motorcycle has been sitting, which most of them do, uh, for quite a while. So the carburetor has has um has been clogged up. It's been corroded on the inside. All the brass parts inside there have, have um have blocked up, you know, all the jets, whatever. This is an easy fix. $750. I like it. I like it a lot like it the only problem i have here is that it's in miami it's a little far from me and that's like uh 45 minutes to an hour's drive i don't have a trailer but man this would be awesome and i'm telling you i'm keeping an eye on this one i'm going to keep an eye on this one i like it i like that one a lot all right let's see here scrolling 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 okay let's look at this here for a second hmm what on earth is this okay 125 cc street bike this is a chinese model let's get that out of the way right off the bat all right um there are none of the japanese that are selling 125 cc's or european for that matter that look anything like this um let me see here all right let's look at the big picture first hmm 125 cc it's probably based on a honda overhead cam engine am i correct here yeah yeah, yeah it looks that way okay um, usually you find these uh, engines on scooters. Right? Most of those 125, 250 cc um, scooters are based on Honda engines, which makes them quite reliable and relatively easy to get parts. I mean, they lots of the parts are interchangeable. You can go on eBay, get parts quite readily. All right, so <clears throat> this is one of those Chinese models, which is probably let me tell you the, the big problem with these Chinese motorcycles is are the plastics, the plastics, and some of the some of the smaller metal parts they you know like screws they will tend to you know um to get stripped out quite easily in fact sometimes when you get these motorcycles or you get these chinese anything at all when you see them you know the panels or whatever their screws and bolts already stripped out you know um and you know cross threaded screws and all kinds of stuff um they can be pretty uh you know pretty nice you know on the surface but they do tend to fall apart that's that's a problem 450 dollars um this crib i've been sitting for over a year selling as is 450 so i can bet you that the carburetor is clogged up as well um now guys remember when you're putting motorcycles away for any period more than three months you need to winterize them okay whether it's winter or not you need to winterize what does that mean well you need to drain the carburetor which isn't hard they come with a little screw on the bottom of the carburetor open that let the fuel out um you want to either keep the fuel tank fully topped up or you want it completely empty why because it's the air above the fuel or the, the fuel air mixture above the fuel that causes rusting 
Okay, so, and it's a potential fire hazard as well, uh, because it's actually the fumes of the fuel that um, that cause fires. Okay, so fully topped off or empty that will prevent rust, and that's your basic winterizing right there. Oh, and by the way, if you have fuel in there, you might want to put some stable or some similar type of stuff. But this is an interesting machine, four hundred fifty dollars. Hey, live a little. Um, let's keep, keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, look at this one here. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the big picture. This is a Honda Shadow 600. Let's look at the big picture. All right, now, guys, I love Honda Shadows. They are really reliable motorcycles. And this V-Twin, we've got the dual exhaust. We've got some, we've got some, uh, we've got some um, rusting going on here. Um, but not a deal breaker at all. Um, this this sort of thing happens. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, let's oh, let's jump back up. Okay, right. So, oh wait a minute. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. That sort of rust and whatever is is fine. Um, motor, the engine looks pretty good. There's, I, I'm seeing you know this color change, this difference here, um, says to me that you know this is probably one of those Frankenstein jobs, but not a deal breaker. Um, let's see what the owner is saying. This is for a $1,000. It's got a clean title. Excellent. Honda Shadow 600 bike has 15,000 miles on it. Clean title. Good bike to be able to turn into a barber. Also good beginner bike. Um, let's see. Uh, needs some, obviously needs some TLC, cosmetically, and a new battery. But those are both easy to fix. I agree. $1,000 seems a bit high, though. What year is it? Hmm. Huh. Does it say? But in any event, a thousand dollars a shade high, especially for something that needs work. But you can keep your eye on that one. Definitely keep your eye on that one. So let's keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Hmm. Let's see. This this for some reason has my attention. What is this? PW eighty six hundred dollars. Let's have a look at the big picture. Okay, this looks like a smaller, yeah, this is a smaller motorcycle, um, a pit bike. And um, they call them pit bikes because, you know, at motorcycle tracks, um, you know, anywhere that, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, um, mechanics or whatever, move from place to place on similar motorcycles. They generally um, have no registration. They don't need it. They're on, an, you know, it's, it's a track situation, but, you know, it's just a zippy way to get around. You might see... Um, nowadays, uh, you know, people are getting environmentally conscious, so they might move, be moving to more electric um, scooters, or you know, just or or just you know, ones that have no engines at all. So interesting, but not really what we're looking for here. All right, so let's see what's going on with this one. All right, let's have a look at the big picture. Hmm, interesting. Oh, oh, wow. Why does this look like one of those CB400, no, I mean, uh, those CB1s? It looks like it's a naked bike. Um, hmm, what is this? This looks like a CB1. I, I actually, you know, these 400cc naked bikes, um, they didn't really take off in the United States, but in Japan and other places where they had uh, restrictions on the motorcycle engine side, these motorcycles were hot items. Oh, it's the CB750, which is on the same cb same family as the CB1. So, yeah. So, let's see what it says here. $400. Honda CB750. 2000 is for project. Oh, the engine is all complete. I have title. Okay. All right. So, it's a 2000 model. Um, the engine is out. Um, doesn't say if he has the engine, but okay. Uh, I $400. Uh, this is a bigger project than I would probably want to get into um, at the moment. But it came a nice bike. Those CB, those are hunt those naked Honda bikes were really, really cool. All right, let's. See. What's this? This is interesting. Let's have a look at this. Let's see what's going on here. All right, <clears throat> six hundred dollars. Let's see here. Email only. Blah blah blah. Two thousand seven seven Yamaha R six. Good condition. Always keep your garage. No, these red flags everywhere that stinks to high heaven moving on 
Now, guys, when you're selling, if you if that's real, and I've said it time and time again, if that's real, you're really doing yourself a disservice by by you know putting things you know email only and blah blah. Come on, man, stop that foolishness. Stop that foolishness. You know, off up. I've bought things on off up, and the exchange between me and the sellers have been perfect on the app. Nothing outside until you know I got to the, the got to location and I called the gentleman, whatever. But anyway, um. Let, let me see what's going on with this one here. Not really too sure. Oh, this is some rental thing. I hate when they do this. Dummies. All right, let's look at this one here. One final one. Um, okay. Ooh, 2,300 Shadow 750. Let's look at a big picture. All right, now these. You guys know I, lo I, I love Honda Shadows. Um, the Twin Chain Drive. Um, wow. Lots of uh, crazy stuff going on here. Um, they've obviously done a lot of work with it. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. If they're selling the part, let, let me let me see what the description says. Details. Uh, description. Honda Shadow project with clean title is posted for a Honda Shadow frame with title and another Honda Shadow for pass with title. You will be getting everything for the listed price. I'm selling everything. Package just before. Oh, okay. So you're getting two Honda Shadows and you can do what you want with it. And yeah, okay. For seven hundred fifty dollars, I would. Uh, yeah, I, this is more of a project than I would be looking for right now. But I like what's going on. I understand what the guy is doing. Seven hundred fifty dollars, I think, is a good price. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd I'd give him a call. You know, um, it's a little more than I would want right right now. Um, I'd want something that's a little, little bit more rideable. You know, clean the carburetor or whatever. But um, that being said, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. For today, this one here is the winner. Absolutely, I would jump on this immediately. Okay, and I'm telling you the truth. If I didn't have some stuff going on right now, I would have been calling this guy right now. But fortunately, I'm gonna have to let this one pass. But guys, listen, thanks for joining me today. If you dig what's going on, like, share, subscribe, and of course, I will see you guys soon.